Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Velipekka Ketonen. I'm from Seven Signal. Seven Signal is a Wi Fi performance management company. We do all kinds of things related to Wi Fi performance. We have products which use agents, which go to laptops, smart devices, uh, products which use sensors. It's all about the Wi Fi performance, uh, what we do. So, my 10 talk will be about faster connections. So, there is technology called AI here, which is a great promise. Uh, it may double the capacity in uh, high density areas. So, that sounds pretty good. It may cut down connection times by 90%, and it improves roaming. So, you might you know, ask, what is this technology? It sounds really exciting. So, is it uh, AI, you know, artificial intelligence, or is it something else? Well, there are two kinds of AIs here. So, there is the, the AI, capital AI, artificial intelligence, but I'm talking about dot .11 AI. And uh, it's about fast initial link setup. And I think the name of the standard um, tells only part of the story. It's a, it's a great standard, and um, it was completed last year. So there are further benefits uh, of this AI than only the connection setup time. So in my opinion, this is one of the most undervalued standards currently in the market. There's a lot of hype about AX, which is great standard, uh, AC, which is great standard, but AI, you know, you haven't heard about that too much. But it has a great potential to enhance the Wi-Fi user experience and performance. Okay, here is some data. So, so this data is from a university. So you can see their uh, utilization graph. So uh, that's the average utilization. That's one hour average values over a course of several days. So you can see their peaks at about noon. And below that, you can see another graph showing what is the authentication time when the utilization goes up. So the authentication time gets much longer when uh, utilization increases. So here is another piece of information. So, so this is from a uh, large arena venue uh, with something like 15,000 people. And the spikes there are the events in the venue. And you can see how much time probe responses take uh, during the events. So probe responses in the network may take up to even 40% uh, of the airtime. So you have, you know, maybe another 40% remaining until you add 80% and then you are done. And this is, uh, this is using like 20, 20 megahertz channels. So it's a design network, 24 megabit per second minimum rates. So still you get this high utilization. So it's kind of problem. So where fields can help, there are three areas. So there's the network and BSS discovery, authentication, and as well the IP setup. So let's first look at the uh, discovery phase. So fields will add fields discovery frames. These are like mini beacons which happen between the actual beacons. Small frames, four frames between you know, 100 millisecond beacons. So, so this will help APs to passively discover APs. So, so there is uh, clients passively discover APs and there is less need for probing and less need for probe responses. So this will reduce those peaks uh, with, through the passive scanning. The other uh, change with the AI is that uh, Pro, uh, probe responses will be broadcast. So, so as of today, when a client probes, all the access points respond to that specific client. 
And that you can see as a high utilization peak in those open areas where one client probe can be received by tens of APs, if not 100 AP, and all of them respond to the uh, client. Now, with the uh, broadcast, other clients can use these probe responses like they were additional beacons. So it's kind of nicely compensating. So the more you have probing, the more you have uh, probe responses which are broadcast and the easier it is passively to discover the APs and less need for additional probing by clients. In the client side, on the other hand, we as well need to make the clients uh, be able to use these passive discovery technologies. So, so basically clients are forced to do passive scan first. So don't start by just spraying probes, but try to find your beacon uh, or the AP in a passive scan. So clients are asked to do passive scan first. And uh, clients will indicate the APs or BSSIDs they have already discovered, so there is less need for APs to respond. And overall, there are kind of uh, rules of behavior for clients to reduce the beacon, beacon uh, reduce the probing. So another improvement is the uh, reduced neighbor report. So APs provide information about the surroundings. So, so clients can basically selectively probe when they still need to probe. Uh, the other area beyond the discovery is the shared key authentication. And this is, you know, the, the field's name, fast initial link setup, or, or, you know, it kind of refers to authentication, but there is a, there is a way to make the authentication way faster. So in practice, clients authenticate first time full authentication. And then the authentication uh, infrastructure remembers that I remember this guy, it was here uh, like a day ago, a week ago, or a month ago. And, uh, and when the client comes back, it will just send one message and it will re-authenticate immediately. It will uh, in fact, as well, get the IP address at the same time. So authentication will be very fast. And uh, for cases where, for example, universities or any workplace where you are absent for a day or a week and then you come back, it's just one message, one round trip time to get you connected. Very big improvement. Uh, then, of course, you still need to do the IP address. So Fields has integrated IP address setup. So, so it's included to this one round trip time, very fast. Here's an example uh, of the current authentication and how many messages clients and the network need to exchange. And with Fields, that's reduced to one message only and you are good to go. Here's an example scenario. Uh, this is from uh, IEEE materials. They made a test where clients are moving constantly over a building and clients are approaching the access point while they move. And, and they measured at what point or location the clients actually get authenticated. So with uh, fields, they start authenticating early and because it's so fast, they authenticate before they get to the AP. But with the current methods, they usually are already past the AP, which is of course not desirable. So here is some data. So this is the location where the clients are, have established the link. So with this uh, fields method and the WPA2 method. So quite significant difference. And this is the link establishment time. Very much faster. So how to, how to get this to the devices, clients and APs? Well, uh, Consola already, already talked, uh, from Wi-Fi Alliance talked already about this. Wi-Fi Alliance has uh, 
yesterday, as of yesterday, published that they will start certifying devices with Wi-Fi optimized connectivity. Wi-Fi optimized connectivity includes AI, fast initial link setup, among other improvements. And it's, it's a great, uh, great uh, certification that should in increase and improve Wi-Fi performance significantly. Thank you.